What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Hey, do you know what the buffalo said when he sent his kid off to college? Bye, son. <sighs> that joke is perfect because I have to ask, do you nerd for the dad box? Uh. I'm Walter Day, the father of esports, and you're watching the Do You Nerd. That's right, the dad box. This is one of the community boxes going around and we are the latest recipient of this. Hey, you don't even have to be a dad to get this box and you don't even have to have somebody call you daddy. But you do on both <laughs> accounts. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, real quick, before we tear into this, mm -hmm. favorite television dad, who do you like? I don't know if he's necessarily my favorite of all time, but come on, Bill. Dad? I'm sorry, was I being proud of you too loud? For Modern Family, he's fantastic in my book. That staycation beard's really taking shape, Dad. He's gone from itching to bitching. That thing's a little creepy. You're a little creepy. He's the oh, quintessential... No, no. Showing emotion is part of being a sexy modern man. <laughs> geeky, dorky dad. I would probably say my favorite dad would be the one that taught the brothers all they need to know, and that would be the supernatural dad. You boys better tell me what the hell is going on right now. Oh, Negan. Well, not Negan, but totally Negan. <laughs> Come on. The Winchester brothers dad. They, they brought the bat back. So come on. Yep. Back to back to back. That was one for the Everybody books. loves yeah. John Winchester. Dad loved this thing. Okay, so this huge box here was sent to us by RG Fam. Now, this is a fun channel that does a lot of gaming related stuff, except I, uh, I might have had a hand in making it a little more difficult with him trying to decide what RPG to play next because I threw out a bunch of suggestions which did nothing to narrow down the field. Good job. Sorry about that. <laughs> they also have a channel, RG Fam Reacts, in which they check out a bunch of other nerdy stuff, including Doctor Who, so they've already won us over. I mean, you know, we might like Doctor Who, just TT. Yeah, who doesn't love Doctor Who? Bit, you know, worked it into the logo, all that stuff, but hey, who cares? Let's get into this box and see what's inside. There you go. All started by Lame Dad Retro Gamer. And here... Would that be where the uh, name came from? Are dad the, Box? Are the rules to the Dad Box Challenge. Lucky you, you've just received the dad box. Get your controllers charged and ready for fun. Read the words below on what to do next. Goals. Get this box into the hands of at least 50 gamers anywhere in the world. Challenge rules. Unboxing must be recorded on video. Don't forget to smile. Show off all the games from the box in the video. Pick the games you want to keep, but don't tell anyone. This is key to keeping it a surprise for the next recipient. So whatever games we choose, we can't tell you that we're keeping well, that's them. that's no fun. I mean, there, it's fun, but it's no fun. <laughs> there are six games per box. The recipient picks up to three and replaces the number of games chosen from his or her own collection. No sports games, come on. Racing and wrestling games are acceptable. Any gaming swag may be included and taken as you desire, but please replace it with more swag if you take something. Swiggity swag, what's in the bag? Ed! Post the video on YouTube, name the video the dad box reveal, add the hashtag, hashtag the dad box to the description. Using the allow the boxes to be tracked throughout the gaming community. P.S. Don't forget to shout out to whoever sent you the box. Again, RG fam. You didn't shout it. It said shout it out. The dad box recipient must reach out to the other gamers of the community that are committed to participate and mail it to them ASAP. Keep all games to relevant consoles. Not everyone has a CDI system. Why well, not? We do. Oh. Okay. Future Tom, put that stuff away. It's not happening.
And the last rule is have fun. Wait, that was all boldened and capitalized. So you need to say it like you mean it. Say have fun! So, start taking a look at what we've got so in here. So we take everything out of the box. Oh, we have the Gameverse Punisher 2099. So this is already super packed. All kinds oh of goodies. Ooh. Okay, so here's one of the games, Turok 2, Seeds of Evil for the Nintendo 64. So it's a, it's a classic. Mm -hmm. Not going to be easy to narrow this down, I can see. Tasmania for Super Nintendo. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Keeping it classic and plastic already. I like it. Come to Tasmania. Come to Tasmania. We have Blade Danger, Lineage of Light, and this is a soundtrack. And oh, it's sealed. sealed. So the nice thing is, sealed. does it count as a game? Nope, it's game swag. But we also have Chaotic Shadow Warriors for the DS. Oh, look at that. Oh, complete even. Nice. By the way, everything is packaged really, really well. Really, yes. really well. Oh, oh, nice. Look at that the Super so Game cute. Pad. So it's oh. got the dongle as well. Nice little wireless controller. And what does it look like? It looks like a Super Nintendo controller. This feels really good in my hand. And it even has that classic, what would you call the colors? Like purple and lavender yes. color scheme? It's got, you know what color scheme this is? Beautiful. Does it only work with the dongle or can you use it like with a, like a switch or something? Well, we'll probably have to read up on it. That dongle is already making me think of like the Wii remote yeah, connection. Yeah, looks a little bit, yeah. So we'll double so check that. Interesting. But it feels so good. Still. Did you feel it? I mean, I guess I didn't let you feel it, but I mean, it's probably a little small for your hands, it, but it fits it amazing is, in mine. It is a little small for my hands, but these grips do mm -hmm. help. I I could use this, but honestly, I mean, if it were more comfortable for your yeah. hands, I could really see you take it advantage I of it. I love that. Sega Genesis Classic right here, Eternal Champions. I must have seen that game everywhere growing up. This was one of those games that it had a powerhouse of marketing behind it. I swear for the longest time, that like, Arnold? every comic book had like a full page <laughs> spread of this thing. Pretty sure that's Arnold. It kind of looks like it. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, oh my gosh. It is a little cut man figure. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that, he's so angry looking. Oh, I'd be angry too, I suppose, if I had scissors on my head. Yeah, he can't run anywhere. Nope, can't run with scissors. So it looks like we have a map. Is that Australia? <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, I think they did rip off Australia I'm sure for this that's design. Australia. And that's Atlantis, right in the middle of, this, of Australia. Well, I, I recognize... Now we found out where, where Atlantis went. <laughs> I recognize the Shivering Isles and the province of Cyril Dill from the Elder Scrolls right away, except for the fact that it does totally look it's like... Australia. Australia. <laughs> Good eye, Mike. Hey, maybe we should send this to Stav. How's life down under? Wait, what? I'm not Australian. No, I'm pretty sure you are. I'm f***ing Greek, man. How is that anything like Australian? You tell me, mate. You're the expert. Wait, what? <sighs> Never mind, mate. Anyway, listen. We also have an unopened 12-card set nice, booster pack. Nice, magic. Is that called Heim? Uh, called Heim? But Magic the Gathering. Very cool stuff. We've got a... Uh, few business cards here. <laughs> the art of Mike Randalls. 
Well, I don't know if there's anything in the box from this artist, but either way, I'm already intrigued because this is a cool picture of Starfire. A nice one. A cool picture of Mike Myers. We're gonna have to see what's in here or just check out his stuff anyway. Oh, Iron Man. <laughs> and guess what, guys? He's totes adorbs. He really is. Don't you love your dorbs? Here, why don't you hang out with a Scissor Man? Iron Man. All right, you you know toys maybe a little better than I do. I don't know if I, if I recognize this guy. I love the fact that it's an actual cloth tunic. Oh, he's got a kung fu action, not kung fu grip. We oh, have curved space for the switch. This does not sound familiar at all, hmm. but we do like our switch we, games. Well, I especially, it's my favorite system. What are we up to on games? One, two, three, four, five. And we're not done yet. Um, okay, so this isn't fair because the rules talked about six games, but we've got Uncharted 3 on the PS3. We've got the manual and the disc. Great series. I love Nathan Drake. Love me some Nathan Drake. We have We Happy Few on Xbox One. So already we're past that six game mark. <laughs> that oh, a funny grin? This might be one of your all time favorites. Oh, that is my all time favorite game, Mass Effect 2. Love that game. Of course, Fem Shep all the way. Fem Shep, yeah. What was your dream team for Mass Effect 2? It was, Who did you bring into battle? It was always Fem Shep, Liara. Miranda. I remember one time when you were playing that, your sister got so mad at you because she thought that you were spending all of your money on fish instead of guns. Well, I wanted my aquarium to look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't often see some Dreamcast love. Nice. We've got WWF Royal Rumble. Now, this is one of those games where, you know, back in the day, regardless of if you were a wrestling fan, generally you could get a bunch of people together, uh, one to four players. Dreamcast was great about that, and just have a lot of fun. Even me and my buddies, we would just play games like that all the time because it was the fact that all of us could play at once. Ooh, Kingdom Hearts. I believe this is three for nice. PS4. We might have. I've always been wanted to check out behind. the Kingdom Hearts games, but you know I would rather play it on my Switch if I could. Well, it's not Kingdom Hearts on the Switch, but we do have Undertale, Undertale. on the Switch, and yeah, I could feel a little heft to this. Look, there's yep. a booklet in here with the Fan Gamer ad because Fan Gamer does have some mm -hmm. cool Undertale pieces there. Look it at the like a Undertale. Book. Yeah. That's cute. That's adorable. Now we have this one though in the like the big pack, the collector's edition. But with the it's not on the switch. Oh, that's true. Oh, it's getting tricky. Ooh. Oh, that is a big bag of toys. Okay, here's proof that someone knew who this box was coming to because you don't just put a big bag of toys in a box. There's a good mixture of toys in here. I mean, you've got some Nickelodeon toys, you have Mega Man toys. There's Alien. There's, I think that, is that Chica from Five Nights at Freddy's? There's some, there's a bunch of really fun stuff in here. Oh, there's, there's a Chippendale from Rescue Rangers. Oh, that kind of Chippendale. That kind of Chippendale. And Spock with his bra, bra. We also have some magazines and books. Oh, so we've Dead got the Rising. strategy guide for Dead Rising. This actually probably would have come in very handy for me. I really, really wanted to play this game. Everything about it looks so cool. The one thing I did not like was the time limit. I just don't like time limits in games. If you like that, hey, that's cool. And I get <laughs> the whole point of it, trying to save certain people at certain times and everything. And it adds that level of challenge. But me, I just don't like feel like I'm being rushed in games. With something like this, maybe I would actually know where to go and I probably could have gotten a lot further than I did. <laughs> We're clear. No, there's something else. Something ugly, something malignant. 
Frank West, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, okay. We've got an old school tips and tricks. This is from uh, August 2007. Transformers. More than meets the eye. <laughs> So basically, this was the magazine that you got if you didn't want so much of the filler of other magazines and you just wanted some tips and tricks. I'm lying, of course, because there's still plenty of filler. Oh my gosh. Which one of you sadly saw the Postal movie? I'm, I'm so sorry. You must wipe out the entire planet. You guys have issues, man. And he'll use whatever means necessary to bring the bad guys to justice. I have to destroy a postal truck filled with lethal microbes before a doomsday cult or a terrorist group destroys the entire world. Bam! Gamer. Congratulations. Authentic Bam fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artist alley artists. Stars. We'll see. I wouldn't know because someone hasn't played the games for me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. And today we will talk about Guilt Trip. Okay. <gasps> that's, burger time! That's a print that's very hard to pass I up. I love burger time. Hey, we both do. In fact, when we were at Mo Game Con hanging out at Two Plumbers, I kept going back to Burger Time. Mm -hmm. I was having so much fun. It is definitely one of my favorite arcade games to play whenever we go to our local arcade, 1984. Here we have an autographed Resident Evil print by Joe White, the voice actor. So that's pretty cool. So this was actually a cool idea to pack yeah. in. Yeah. In case anybody missed out on the Pikachu-themed Happy Meal boxes. This was very clever, you guys. I definitely did get one of these, and I put his little ears on, and he's sitting over in the corner. We have another autograph, this time touching on Twisted Metal. I'm guessing the voice actor for Calypso. Every time I see Twisted Metal, all I can think of is Twisted Sister. I don't know why. <laughs> how it's cool. The, it's the same hair. How cool would it have been if Twisted Sister did a song for the game Twisted Metal? I got five pieces of candy. I got a chocolate bar. I got a quarter. I want to rock! Well, it wouldn't be a nerd unboxing without some kind of comic book love. Oh, look. Captain America. He's trying to realign his spine. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, realign it right out of his forehead. <laughs> oh, nice. So the art of Tomb Raider Underworld. This is cool. Oh, nice. All of her outfits and yeah. and stuff. Very cool. We do like the Tomb Raider games. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is neat. You'll uh, notice they only are showing what most people just really care about about Laura Croft. They cut off the parts that no one cares about. <laughs> oh. Hey, circling back around to Undertale to and books. the Little Golden Book. I didn't know they were in a Mario Golden Book. That is so <laughs> cute. Look at that. Oh, he's so happy looking too. Oh, look, the whole gang is here with Yoshi and all the toads and the Koopalings. How Aww. cute. Rawr! That's adorable. If we keep that, I can read you a little bedtime story. Oh, now. then I can finally go to sleep. It's a me, a Mario. Oh, this is kind of cool. So a PS3 game demo disc. And this is nice, one for the, move. for the move. Yeah. First of all, I've actually been having a lot of fun the last couple of years trying to look for demo discs more and collect them. What a fun piece of history, you know, back when you couldn't just download yeah. a demo digitally. You actually had to have a disc for it. How strange. <laughs> we have a lot of fun blowing little people's minds. Uh, that are rather young and don't realize that you could get Netflix on your game systems, but you had to have a disc for Netflix. Yeah. Okay, Grandma, they mail you the internet. <laughs> we got a Go Go Power Rangers <laughs> number 30. Necessary Evil. Ask Bandana Gamer if that's a good issue. Yeah, because uh, I, I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> I don't either. But I know who these people are. Look, it's Thor and Hulk and Loki. Nice. And Frog Thor. 
<laughs> He's got a mask, so you don't know who he really is. I bet we don't know who that is. Who's his mystery wrestler? There's only one man that can pull off purple pants like that. Okay, look at some of the fun little Easter eggs here. You've got someone in a spider mask, and it says, I pinned bone saw. Ha! Uh, uh, uh. Over here, you've got hammer time, as well as Logan 616. Gee, I wonder what Earth's de designation is. And then a graphic novel. Oh, so this is from the New 52, Batman, The Court of Owls. Nice. I have heard talk about this storyline, The Court of Owls, but I obviously haven't delved into it because uh, we don't have the digital nope, DC app. And we don't really have a great comic shop in our area to go in anymore That's closed. but this is a perfect chance to check it out I know. it's even wrapped up and everything so it's a great shape it's a good one this is the star wars limited run card they put it in a magic the gathering themed sleeve okay. so that's, <laughs> that's kind of neat but okay and then we got stickers, oh, some like Mario stickers. Love, and some Among Us nice. stickers. Those are cute. Okay. Woo! That's a lot so of stuff. that, that is all that's in the box. All right, but so we're supposed to just show it off, but then not tell anybody what we kept? Right. So, so we've gone through it. We've shown everything off. And we don't show what we put in it, right? Correct. Okay. We don't show what we put in it, but we also don't show what we've taken out. And this is going oh. to be very difficult because if we're going off of this, you keep up to three games. And there are more than six games, which this also said. Make your choice. So many mm. different things. I'm really, really hoping that some of these games we actually already have. So it'll help help kind of uh, pare down what we have to choose from. But there's also a lot of cool swag in here. And I love that it's a good variety of stuff. Yeah, old and new. <laughs> we are going to end the video here and debate what exactly we're keeping and then figure out what we're sending next. At this point, we don't know who we're sending it off to, but once we figure that out, we'll update you guys and we hope that you will continue to follow the dad box as it makes its rounds. So first of all, lame dad, retro gamer, thank you so much for kicking all of this off. We've been watching this make its rounds and it is so, so cool getting so many people in it. Second of all, huge, huge thank you to RG fam for sending it our way. Wow. You put a lot of great stuff in here. Thank you so much for thinking of us. Good luck trying to pick one of those RPGs I suggested to you. And <laughs> we're going to have fun at checking out your further reactions to some Doctor Who episodes. Maybe Please. this was punishment because you gave him too many options. <laughs> She's got a point. She's got a point. <laughs> Please visit all of these channels and links that are going to be in the description below. Feel free to like the video if you happen to like it and leave some comments uh let us know because we we may have decided what games we're keeping already so you could drop some comments and say you should have kept that game because you probably didn't and you made a mistake whoops you'll never know <laughs> until the next video and see what's not there and hit the <laughs> notification bell subscribe if you would be so kind and uh you know cut a rug as you make more bad dad jokes go trim your beard hey Cut it out. Thanks, Joey. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh. And if we like it, nerdlings. We nerd it. But it's going to be hard to narrow it down. Pew, pew, Giant, pew, I'm, pew. I'm cutting your lasers. I'm, I'm, I'm. Oh! Oh, no! Now what are you gonna do? Kick you. Ow! Ow! Stop kicking! <laughs> Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Throwing Harry Potters. The challenge rules. Unboxing video. Ready? Mm -hmm. Take two.
Ah, oh, dude, look at Howard the Duck. That'd be a fun one to find. Ha! <laughs> Mega Man! Nope. He's totes the door. Nope. Oh, you're right. Why did I say Mega Man? I think okay. I was looking at that. Okay. You ready? Yes. You know, trying to... Sur <clears throat> and that was my finger. You gotta give it back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like... Ah, ah, <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Uh oh Hang on, he fell down with his scissors. I know who these people are. Thor! Hercules! No, why did I say Hercules? <laughs>